back, everybody. Happy, happy Tuesday to everybody. Uh, very excited now. We've been promising all morning that we were going to make the studio a little bit sexier and a little bit better this morning. Uh, and uh, we, we just go ahead and turn our cameras <laughs> off. <laughs> we are we are delivering on that right at this very moment. Uh, please welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Rib Hillis and Eliana Elaine. Oh no! <laughs> so, pause. Ilenia, Ilenia, Ileana. Yes. Good Lord, Ileana <laughs> Grenenko. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I spent all morning worried about your last name, and you come in and throw me a uh, throw me a curveball that no. it's the first name that I'm lost on. Ileana, where are you from? Originally from Russia. Okay. What part yeah. of Russia? Moscow. Moscow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, Talk a little closer yeah. into the closer. yeah, get, get really <laughs> up in its business. Yeah, totally do that. Yeah. Make, make, make love <laughs> to that microphone like it's your husband. <laughs> <laughs> now, before the show, we were talking about perfect body types and what you look for in a man and a woman. And I think we've got fantastic <laughs> examples now in well, the studio. Thank you, guys. Now, do you guys, since you, since you guys were listening to the show, do you do you guys have your? That's our question that we we're asking everybody in the chat room. Uh, you know how you always say the well, the celebrity that you're allowed to cheat with. Do you guys do you guys wow. play that Are game? Are we really going to have this conversation? Yeah. <laughs> Get right. down to it! Wow, that's, we that's, just jumped that's right we're, into that's where it. We're I do starting. have an answer. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thanks for putting me on the spot. I do have an answer. Please go ahead, honey. <laughs> Mine would be Brad Pitt. I'm totally allowed. <laughs> yes, I'm totally allowed. All right. Interesting. See, did you did you not know this? I didn't know that. No. Well, the good right. news is you look a lot like Brad Pitt, so I, I don't know, think. Yeah, so he is that I, type, I, right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to take the fifth. Actually. You're going to take the fifth. I, uh, yeah, I'm going to take the fifth. <laughs> wow. I don't well, know. I have a lot of different types. Though. Because much but like. my wife is definitely one of them. <laughs> Aww. As, <laughs> as, <laughs> cer certainly as it should be. So we're here today to talk about, you guys have a brand new uh, dance studio called L.A. Ballroom Studio. Uh, and let's just, I'll just, I'm going to let you guys talk about it because otherwise I'll just sit here and tell everybody what it's about. Uh, you, who, well, who, we it, we just we just took over a studio on Sherman Oaks uh, in Sherman Oaks on Ventura Boulevard. Um, it used to be called the the Rhythm Room, and now it's L.A. Ballroom Studio. And we took over an actual a functioning studio with uh, with students already there, and so it was like jumping on a moving train. Oh, wow. we're super excited because we have uh, a full staff and lessons going on, and it's been two weeks, and we haven't slept. Yes, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a, it's been a, wish for it's yeah. been a dream of ours because yeah. uh, we have a five month old baby boy. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, So you're not sleeping anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> now it's just added. I literally was leaving work last night around 1130, and I was thinking, I worked really hard to be this tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a dream come true. We're really thrilled about it. I mean, Elaine has been in the ballroom industry her whole life, uh, so it's something that we that we feel very uh, passionate about. And what are the cross streets? It's Ventura and what? It's Ventura and uh, Beverly, Beverly Glen. Glen. Okay. It's right next to Guitar Center. One four two six one Ventura. Right up in Boulevard. my hood. Yes. Exactly. Now I'm now I'm curious because we're going to talk about you. We know that you're a big dancer, but I was watching a YouTube clip yesterday of you with Cheryl Burke, and you were being given what was you know a, a lesson. Now, because you, you're like, oh, I don't know how to dance. I've never really danced, but now. <laughs> Have you become a better dancer? <laughs> well, I d actually I just took the intermediate tango class at our at our studio last night. I've been trying to up my game a little bit yeah. because as a Takes studio owner, now. I mean, I, I dress the part, I look the part. Everyone's <laughs> like, "Oh, you must be a dancer." I'm like, "No, I just married one." <laughs> um, I can fake it pretty well. That's uh, that's the actor side of me, I guess, coming out. And then, of course, dancing with a world champion, you always look good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, he said that he gets spoiled every time we go out and dance. He feels like he's the best, and now he starts dancing with somebody else, and he goes, you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> she looks you're not, she looks, you're not like, making me look yeah. good enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, like you're you not doing it right, pal. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm the one who's new to this. But that's what uh, that's what's fun about dancing is as long as you're smiling, having fun, you know. And that's in our studio. We have all different levels. I mean, I like to say it's a world class studio for all levels. Absolutely. And I definitely am at the bottom level. Yeah. <laughs> I set the bar low. So please come in and feel good about your dancing ability by watching me fumble around. And it's been great because of the success of Dancing with the Stars, which you dance on. 
uh, it's really kind of changed people, not just, you know, watching it on TV, but people at home saying, I want to go learn how to dance. Yeah, it definitely changed in America because when I came in from Russia, and Russia it's so popular, every single kid at some point danced. So everybody knows what ballroom dancing is. In America, when I used to introduce myself, what do you do for a living? And I go, oh, I'm a professional ballroom dancer. And they're like, uh, okay, but what do you do for a living? Right. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Like people had no sense of what it is and how could you actually make a living out of it. And right now, after the show, it changed everything for still people more. Um, you know, they recognize what it is, and now they also know how much work goes into it, and now they love it too. So it's it's great. It's definitely put it on the map. Because they're watching shows like Dancing with the yeah. Stars, and then they're seeing. They're definitely seeing the hard work, but then they're also seeing my favorite thing, which is the weight loss, because <laughs> that's, yeah. it's, a, it's an amazing workout. So it's, it's a combination it of, of go out and have fun, but you're also doing something really great for yourself. Do you guys do, so what are the, do you guys do classes at your studio that are just strictly learn how to dance or are some of them cardio? No, there are a mix. We have Zumba classes, which is essentially a mix of Latin, di different Latin dances in, into a fun workout, and uh, we have that. And when, when you do uh, the other dances, if it's a fast speed dance, uh, it doesn't design to be as a workout, but you would still feel as a workout because it's a cardio. So if you do it for a certain amount of time, then you definitely break sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Miranda Eldridge is in the chat room, uh, and she just hey announced Miranda. that she's an instructor. <laughs> yes, she's an instructor at your studio. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you tell people who say, I can't dance? We'll teach you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's do, true. Do you yeah. think dance is something that can be taught? I think so, too. Like for I always thought that for singing, you have to have a natural ability. I don't know if you can teach a person how to sing, but... In dancing, you can't. I mean, if I, you can, if you are willing to put time into it, uh -huh. you're definitely uh, capable of learning. You know, some people do it really, really fast, and some people it takes slower. But by their certain amount of time, you definitely will be able to enjoy dancing for sure. If you learn the steps and you can do them to the music, it brings people a lot of pleasure. <laughs> Is it something? Are there are there certain techniques that you look for? Because I know that when we're watching these shows, yeah. uh, obviously they're always talking about you know you have to hold your hands and your carriage and the you know and your, your well, lines there's so and many different else. aspects to it i mean we have we have social dancing which it's not so much about the, yeah. the lines and the and your, your form feet. and everything and it's just about having fun and moving and then there's the competitive level and i think dancing with the stars tends to get a little bit of both i mean it yeah. gets a little competitive and you have carrie ann quoting some rule book <laughs> <laughs> about the lift yeah, you should yeah, watch just, that. With that the was stars. what almost just came out of my mouth. Was in, I was like, their feet are allowed to leave the in ground. In my house with her because <laughs> she, you know, is is completely immersed in this world. And it's, do you remember? Oh God, somebody shot their TV when who was on? When Bristol yeah, Palin was yeah, on, somebody shot. shot the TV <laughs> that's what it's almost <laughs> like in our house with dance because this one is being, you know, critical of not just the dancing, the pros, the the celebrities, the it's judges. Like all <laughs> camera, it's all camera comments. Yeah. Uh, why, why is there such a debate about the lift, about the feet leaving the ground, because that oh. is Carrie Ann Inaba is always that is like her big pet peeve. I think she should let it go. That's one thing. It's just gotten old, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> but it, there is a rule in international dancing that you have to have both feet, like at least one foot on the floor. You can't lift a partner off the floor with help. Kind of like in the old days when you're in bed with a woman, you yeah. one foot on the floor <laughs> and you're still okay. <laughs> The reason why, because when we're competing, we have few couples at the same time on the floor. And if yeah. you lift somebody and somebody's next to you, it, it could cause an injury. But for the show, I think, why not lift someone? You should be example. proud if you can get Kirsty Alley off the ground. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's more exciting for people to watch. And I don't know why they held on to that rule. You know, mm. it's weird. Do you think, and I'm going to get us in trouble here, but do you think it's just one of those things where it's something to critique? Kind kind of like how Randy on American Idol was always guilty of like, oh, you were a little pitchy, and you're kind of like, really, you can't come up with something else. Like it's, it's 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 the old. You have to have something to say. But that's what I'm saying. It's gotten old. Yeah. So pick on something else. Yeah. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to allow lifts in our celebrity dance challenge? We're having sure. a celebrity dance challenge. Oh, actually. We what are. is the, what is this? Well, we just did a um, another radio show um, with the the. the the radio soapbox, soapbox. Um, yeah. and um, we're gonna have Lily and uh, Martha on, and they're gonna do a dance off. 
So we're like with have, each other, are they the, ho- are they the are they the hosts they're of the, the show? They're the hosts of the show. Okay. And uh, then we're gonna have them on. So we're we're gonna kind of bring a little bit of Dancing with the Stars to Sherman Oaks. And should we, should we allow lifts in our show? Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna le- lessen the, the rules a little bit. Well, because so. it is funny because when because then, then when I'm watching you know the same style of dance on so you think you can dance, which is that's my show I love because um, I, I, I yeah. do I love dance and I love just watching. One it. of our good friends was on that. Uh, which one? Snow Urban. She was on what season? Yeah. Oh, she was on one, the very one. first, first season. Yeah. She had the blonde you are hair. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. She's also well, she also auditioned for. Madonna for the reinvention tour because yes. she's in the opening of her documentary. I'm going to tell you a secret. I, somebody well, knows. Bam. <laughs> Somebody knows. Whatever. Snow is actually my best friend, so. <laughs> yeah. We're, she's we're a, she was an amazing, and what she was, I mean, she dancer. is an amazing dancer. Yeah. yeah um, no, I love So You Think You Can Dance. Like, that's a, that's a great, great show. But uh, I was going to go back to that uh, because they don't judge, like you said, talk about the lifts and stuff. And so when they do ballroom, I, I think some of their ballroom dances are ten times more exciting just for the fact that they don't have that weird limitation. Yeah, and know? that shows about the dance, and their they're yeah. dancers are all professional dancers. I agree. I love that show, too. Dancing with the Stars is a it's a popularity contest. I mean, yeah. it's a different... Yeah. I get frustrated as well just even as a, as, as a fan of it because I'm like, that's not the best yeah. dancer. <laughs> How can they vote that person off? I know. I, you know what? I've, I, I, this is not name-droppy at this point, but I have literally for the first... Not season one, but from about season two to about like season six, I had a friend on every season, mm-hmm. and uh, and so I was always having to go and watch the tapings. Yeah. And there's so many people I know that love that show, and I just I hated it. I I, I Which hate one? Dancing with going stars? Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah and, the, and you have to sit out there on these little plastic chairs, and they're all <laughs> they're all cinched together, <laughs> so you can't so you move. Can't so you lit, and when you're as tiny as me, oh, the glamour, yeah. <laughs> the glamour. You know, yeah, it's, it's yeah, exactly. And and then yeah, and then it ends up. And, and watching my friends were killing themselves, mm-hmm. just killing themselves for this mirror ball trophy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and, and at the end of the day, it's a popularity contest. Yeah. It has nothing to do with how hard you dance or how great you dance. It ends up being like, how's your fan, how's your fan base? I was kind of hoping that I was going to be able to sleep my way onto this show because <laughs> I married this one. It didn't work out though. And I don't, I don't know if I'm, if I'm disqualified now because I want to dance too. Yeah. But, yeah, actually, I don't know. We you should have you come on over to the studio. The oh, I'll, I would, I would, I would definitely come over to the studio because I'm. Uh, I just started teaching aerobics a few months ago, um, and so you know, I'm, I'm practicing. Well, we have it. We have a. Shape. We have a amazing space. We have an upstairs and a downstairs studio. Yeah. So we're actually looking to. We just took over like literally mm-hmm. two weeks ago. In fact, we have a special new owner special going on for the month through the month of February, which is two two two. For 222, so it's two, yeah. <laughs> uh, two private lessons, two group classes, and two social parties because we have social parties. Mm. Um, I think. What's a social party? It's oh, you go to the studio and you learn all those dances, uh-huh. so you wanna go and somewhere and dance them. So for that, we do a social party right now, which is a once a month where people, students. February sixth yeah. is the next one. Do you have yeah. to be a student to go to those? No, you don't have to be a student, but this. But is you should you know how to do the dance moves. Well, at <laughs> least a little bit. Uh, we're saying even beginners are welcome. Let's say if you came yeah. to a couple of private lessons, yeah. a couple of group classes, you already learned something. Some basic so steps. Yeah, and we put in all in. different. You know, there's some salsa yeah. there. There's some. Cha cha, and there's yeah, some hustle. And it. listen to me, like I know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Yeah. I've been in the studio for two weeks, and I'm already well, picking it up. He's already, in, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's a place for our student body, but also anybody who who loves dance, because we get people who are not members of the studio come by for our last um, social party. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that, well, and that's why I was asking how much of this is just for people who I'm going to call it an art form, who are who are loving it for the art form of. You know, a tango or a you know a ballroom love dance, tango. but yeah, isn't it good? That's a, that's a sexy dance. <laughs> but uh, you know, who's loving it for that versus you know, the, like we're talking about the Zumba classes. Like, how many classes are there that are specifically just for you know that style of dance? But it's really you know, like there's hip hop dance classes that are specifically for cardio and for exercise, yeah. um, while also learning a few you know a few moves here and there. Well, the ballroom is just so diverse because a lot of things. A lot of people think that ballroom is just like a waltz tango and foxtrot, but in reality, it's not. Latin part of it is also ballroom. Swings are also part of salsa. So all of that. So and that's what I'm saying. If you tango. go to a salsa class, you will. It's a workout. Yeah. You know, for an hour, you're moving around there, mm-hmm. and you know, yes, you need to learn some basic steps to begin with in order to feel like a cardio. But even if you do just one basic step. But fast to the music sure. for 15 minutes. That's it. Done. That's your sure. workout. <laughs> I do a whole at the end of my aerobics class. I've been. I do a whole song 
where we're essentially doing a cha-cha, you know, step yeah. forward, cha-cha, step back, cha-cha. Uh -huh. But we do it for the length of a full song. There you and go. And while it's fun, it's actually one of the harder songs that we do just because it's, it's so constant and you really feel it. You feel it in your hips, to your calves, to your yeah. ankles, like the whole... In your core, yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a great thing. But uh, really quick, we're going to take a quick break, but you were talking about the 2 2, two. We, we didn't yes. get to finish what it's, that was. Uh, two private lessons, two group classes, and two social parties, uh -huh. all for $222, which I think is I think we figured out it's a 33% discount, and it's basically our gift to any new students that want to come out, come by L.A. Ballroom Studio, and it runs through the month of February. Yeah, and what's the website if they wanted to sign up it's online? It's laballroomstudio.com. Perfect. Yeah, we were yeah. we were lucky. We got a great got a great domain. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to take a break, and in that break, we're also going to see your new hefty commercial. I'm going to play Ooh. that for everybody who's watching us live. You're not going to get to hear it on the <laughs> podcast. Uh, but we're going to play your new hefty commercial. We're going to talk about that when we come back, and we're also going to talk about your career and how you got started in dance. So, if you guys want to call in and say hi, we're at three two three two eight four seven eight two six. And we're all on Twitter. You can tweet me at The Bob Show. Brendan is at Brendan A. Bradley. And the dance studio is L.A. Ballroom. So uh, if you guys do me a favor, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. That is the brand new Hefty commercial Woo! playing all over your TV Lots station. Lots of hefty men in that commercial. <laughs> Lots of hefty men, including uh, our guest today, Mr. Rib Hillis. You guys uh, have any garbage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking out the trash. <laughs> I, I have been propositioned to take out garbage all over the country. <laughs> there was actually a, a, a maintenance company, a garbage company in Chicago that was like, if you ever want to quit your day job, come on up. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might have to wear more clothes in Chicago in the wintertime. Yeah, no kidding. I will tell you, though, the first time I saw that commercial, I was like, I couldn't, I can't decide if I want to be offended by the guy, for the guy at the end, like the guy who's... Uh -huh. right. Only because like I I get the joke of the commercial like you know he's he's the hefty guy he's the big hefty guy and I know that it's you know me having my big body husky boy insecurity uh, but you know like he, it, it plays off during the commercial but then at the very end and I know that it's hefty 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 that's yeah. always been the slogan for hefty right yeah. uh, but so the three hot guys are like hefty 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 and then all of a sudden he just stands there. <laughs> and I'm like, we couldn't throw him like uh, the heftiest. I don't know. Just give him, give him. We something. had so really much fun on set. <laughs> Justin uh, was his name, and uh, Justin Giddings, and he was amazing. And we we had such a blast on set. We shot a lot of different footage. I, I mean, Hefty has a lot of stuff they could use because we did. He had some lines in there where there was a. I keep teasing it, and I keep waiting for Hefty to put it out. There was a. Uh, Lawn sprinkler strip tease, I guess. Wow. <laughs> kind of a wow. fantasy of the housewife. And uh, I had fun with my segment. And when I was done, the entire crew and, and the client and the you know the production company, they all were like, I think you've done that before. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I just spontaneously. <laughs> so all that, all that <laughs> dancing. Yeah. 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 But that's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've actually, I wake up every morning and Hefty Brand, the company, has tweets with me. You know, and they're like, somebody sure. be like, hey, who's that guy? And then Hefty be like, oh, you got to find him. It's Rebillis. Da, da, da. <laughs> and I'm just, it's been such a, a, a blast. I would never would have thought that, that taking out the trash would be something <laughs> that would get me some notoriety. You're, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You have a, you're, there's, when you're first introduced and you and you pull yeah. that, that's why she said, do I have any trash to take out? <laughs> there's something about the, it's your arms. We were talking about arms before, during the yeah. first segment. Uh, yeah, it's, it's your arms and the way you're pulling out and the trash. And it's funny that he didn't even recognize that it's his arms until I said that. I was like, oh, that's your worst oh, story, and that's your arms. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the trash bag when the, the hands yeah, are running yeah, around yeah, inside yeah. the trash bag. Yeah. Do you, now has it, uh, are, do you do you like being, or how do you feel, I'm going to say this, how do you feel about being objectified in that way? I've made a living about being objectified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, but that's I what, literally, but I'm, but that's I'm what I've been. Because I, I think that always becomes sort of a big thing, and I never really got to ask anybody who's pretty and who's pushing themselves out as just being pretty, but uh, and you are objectified I, in, in I doing mean, that way. Is, but, but this is the career that's, that I've chosen, and it's chosen me, and I, I, I embrace it. I mean, it's the fun part about that spot is that we're in on the joke, yeah. you know, which was really, which is what's fun. I think it's what's fun for people to watch. And, you know, yeah, I'm looking it's at the camera and It's safe and charming, yeah. Hefty yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's, but it's over the top. But that's, that's the fun part, you know. It's when you're being poked fun at and you're not really pretty to the joke. But I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And it's been, you know, that, that's kind of the, exactly why, why I do this, to have fun like that. Did you start out as a model? I was in college and I was about 40 pounds heavier playing football. 
and then I woke up one day and decided I think I'm not really cut out for this and I lost weight and I got into modeling and I ended up moving to Paris straight out of college and wow. lived there for two years and then uh, came back I don't know did a acting class in New York and ended up coming out to Los Angeles um, in 96 and got on a soap opera and so I've been working on camera pretty much uh, God I mean like 20 some years you know as a model and as an actor um, and got into the behind the camera producing we have a couple of films coming out there's actually a film coming out this month um haunting of the innocent uh, i think it comes out in redbox on january 28th it's a psychological thriller i play the lead i was a producer in it uh my son uh was my played my son in it kind of typecast wow. him. Mm-hmm. and then there's another film that i'm really proud of it's called birthday cake it's a sequel to oh, groom's cake chad darnell was the writer producer director and my co-star and it's about a yeah. gay couple that adopts a baby and yeah the one groom's of our cake. Sh- well somebody we, yeah is it Harvey Gian? Who's somebody on our show? Somebody's been. I'll look it up while you keep talking about it. Some we've had Groom's somebody here talking about. Did amazing and played cake. at all the festivals. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Chad was like, "Let's do a sequel." And he, he he did it all. He wore every hat there is, and it's going to be coming out through Aristocal, uh, who distributes all the eating out films. And so Aristocal oh, okay. is taking that out for us. So I have been very fortunate to wear many many hats in my my Hollywood tenure. Now, I have a new one. I don't think I'm... It's not hats. I think they're shoes now. Now I'm wearing different (laughs) shoes, so I have dance shoes on now. They're shiny. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I have a lot of friends in this movie. Birthday Cake is... Yeah, it's kind of an ensemble cast. Uh, Ronnie Kroll, who's been on the show. Oh, Jennifer Jimenez. Jennifer Jimenez Jennifer Jimenez yes. is the yes. one who was in here talking she about it. She plays my ex-girlfriend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my beard, as it were. Well, she, and she's coming on in just a, in a couple weeks. Uh, yep. But, uh, yeah, and uh, Ryan O'Connor, Graham LaBass, uh, Nick, Nina Milan, um, Peter Page is in it. Jane Badler is in it. I know, I know. Jane Badler's coming on the show. She's like one of my dream... Like, she kills it in, uh, in Birthday Cake. It's incredible. I am so excited about... Me. I've never met her, but we've been tweeting... Uh, and she has a new album coming out. And most people, don't, she even, most people don't even know who Jane Badler is. But Jane Badler is from one of my all-time favorite shows, V. When I was a, You're going to love the I was, movie then. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, uh, yeah well, that, I, that's why I just saw that. Yeah. So uh, She sings in our show, in our movie, too. Does she really? This really amazingly over-the-top crazy song. I'll, you'll, I won't <laughs> spoil it, but... Well, I'm excited. So when that, that's coming out when? Um, that should be out in the next few months. Aristocal is going gonna, is gonna, to um, distribute it, and it is certainly will tweet it and post it and everything, but it'll be out and be a video on demand. Um, they're playing at all the festivals. I think... I don't know how many we've won so far. It's just, it's an incredible story. It's a great movie. It was amazing because when we started it, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, Prop 8, you couldn't, gay, you know, gay couples couldn't get married. And yeah. then all of a sudden, Dome, I don't know if our movie contributed to that. We'd like <laughs> to think so, but uh, it's a great, it's a great film. And it's unbelievably funny. <laughs> how, how fun. Who's Haviland Stillwell? You don't she's know Haviland Stillwell? No, but I do now. Yeah, well, you have to watch. She's My incredible. My goodness. A lot of the people are um, good friends of Chad's, and uh, he just sort of called in all his favors and friends and everything. So That's great. Now, do you – so was it, is it hard to make a transition from uh, model to actor? I, the skill set that you develop – and the people are like, are we going to make really rip? But no, the skill set you develop as a model does not – can immediately translate into acting because as a model you're trained to sit there and be still as an actor you need to be fluid and moving and so it, it wasn't it wasn't hard but i find myself watching you know really really pretty people on screen i'm like oh god so beautiful model <laughs> but it just doesn't you know there's something about being an actor that you, that you, you have to be a little bit more real um but you have to you be know, more connected to your emotions and your feelings yeah, essentially and, not, and not posing I and mean, yeah. as a model you literally i've spent 22 years posing it's hilarious my wife teases me <laughs> what do you say I do. What? look well you're making a model face every time yeah. we take pictures and it's not a red carpet it's just a picture. yeah a family photo <laughs> yeah and i'm like i'm not making she goes like, look okay. at this right here i'm like yeah. okay i guess so <laughs> you both make a living on poses because <laughs> dancing is all about the pose and the form and the yeah, the grace. Maybe. This one, <laughs> this one is the funnest, goofiest, most relaxed person in the world. But the minute you put her on the dance floor in a, in a when she has to perform, she the becomes, same things happen. Like Brendan she saying, yeah, blows up and she gets these faces. <laughs> 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 you can see them in like in their videos and if you YouTube her and stuff, and it's incredible because if you take her at home and put her in a pair of flannel pajamas, it jumps around <laughs> like a crazy person. Yeah. We all, per- we all, per- we all perform a little bit. Well, well, sure. So, speaking of performing, when did how old were you when you started doing ballroom dance? Seven. Seven well, years I old. First grade and start dancing. And at what and at what point did you start dance uh, competing? 
uh, right away. <laughs> right, right. So you went straight into it. Was it now? Was it because something? It was actually c quite a story. I say, being at the right place at the right time. Uh, I went obviously for fun, and um, there was a partner who was Moscow champion at that time in that age category. He lost his partner, and I don't remember if she that really outgrew him mm -hmm. or she quit. And they couldn't find a girl for him because he was not a tall guy at mm. the age of eight. And they said, okay, oh, we only have one possibility. Let's go to a beginner classes and see if we can find a little talented girl and mm -hmm. we'll just train her really fast. <laughs> and that little talented girl happened to be me. And after literally maybe only a couple of weeks dancing and being a butterfly and a flower and doing a chicken dance, <laughs> so I, I got chosen and said, okay, so we are competing a Moscow championship in December. And I started in September. Wow. And they said, okay, you need to learn eight dances. You have to have two costumes. You got to buy shoes and you got to now start taking pride lessons. And and uh, my mom said, go. <laughs> <laughs> and in December, I danced my first competition, which was the Moscow Championship. And out of 180 couples, we were second. Oh, wow. my God. And that's what I'm saying. I kind of got that fast ride into it because my partner was already experienced. And yeah. But, you know. I must have done something right to get that second place. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you, that's a, it's a, it's a duo. Yeah. You had to, you had to both contribute yeah. to get to there. But so that goes back to my original question of like, sounds to me like you had the dance already in you. You sort of had that talent. I believe I was born to do it. There's this great book by uh, Malcolm Gladwell. Yeah, yes. it call, talks about the outliers and. To sum it up, I pretty much say being at the right place at the right time, recognize the opportunity, take it, and then put 10,000 hours into it. Uh -huh. And you cannot fail. Yeah. You will be successful. We talk about the 10,000 hours here all the yeah. time. Yeah. In fact, I was just thinking about this morning because some Thursday, two days from today, is the, um, our 200th show just here on UBN alone. So then I was like, okay, that's 400 hours because I'm always trying to <laughs> add it's up. Too bad, it's too bad you can't be a world champion in beer drinking and bourbon yeah. and solving the world problem. Because sure I, I have at can. least 10,000 hours actually. in it. 10,000 liters. <laughs> yeah, I definitely. Where's my award? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in that 10,000 yeah. hours. That's, that's one of my favorite analogies that, yeah, the 10,000 hours in anything yeah. can make you a I think that's what she was referring to earlier that and you can teach you can teach anyone how to dance if you put them out uh, the uh, right amount of time into it i mean you can learn the techniques so i love to see these you know these russians who are dancing international latin it's latin you think it should be you know i have this vision of you know spanish and passion and then here's these russians who are as white as it can get and they are doing it better than anyone mm -hmm. and it's because they put all that time and effort and technique and dedication into it and yeah it's really Amazing. And so how did you, so you just kept dancing, and at what point did you move over to America and get involved with Dancing with the Stars? Um, well, I keep dancing, yeah, my whole mm. entire career, and uh, I moved it here at 21, and uh, Dancing with the Stars is actually quite, again, being at the right place at the <laughs> right time. Uh, at that point, Max and I would dance together, and we were one of the top couples that represented the United States in the World Championships. And uh, when Dancing with the Stars moved here, because originally it's from England, they pretty much did their research and contacted all top couples in the United States. Did you dance wow. on the British version or just? I didn't. Just, okay. No. And at that point, we actually said, Dancing with the Stars? What's that? No. <laughs> no, no. We're still competing. We're going to dance Blackpool and things like that. And they did that first season. And then after that, it kind of came natural, and you're like, okay, so this is the face of ballroom dancing right now, so why not be on the show? And then we literally called back and said... Welcome back, everybody. That is the brand new Hefty commercial Woo! playing all over your TV Lots station. Lots of hefty men in that commercial. <laughs> Lots of hefty men, including uh, our guest today, Mr. Rib Hillis. Do you guys uh, have any garbage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, taking out the trash. <laughs> I, I have been propositioned to take out garbage all over the country. <laughs> there was actually a, a a maintenance company, a garbage company in Chicago that was like, if you ever want to quit your day job, come on up. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might have to wear more clothes in Chicago in the wintertime. Yeah, no kidding. I will tell you, though, the first time I saw that commercial, I was like, I couldn't, I can't decide if I want to be offended by the guy, at the, for the guy at the end, like the guy who's... Uh -huh. right. Only because like I I get the joke of the commercial like you know he's he's the hefty guy he's the big hefty guy and I know that it's you know me having my big body husky boy insecurity uh, but you know like he, it, it plays off during the commercial but then at the very end and I know that it's hefty 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 that's yeah. always been the slogan for hefty right yeah. uh, but so the three hot guys are like hefty 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 and then all of a sudden he just stands there. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm like, we couldn't throw him like uh, the heftiest. I don't know. Just give him, give him. We something. had so really... much fun on set. <laughs> Justin uh, was his name, and uh, Justin Giddings, and he was amazing. And we we had such a blast on set. We shot a lot of different footage. I, I mean, Hefty has a lot of stuff they could use because we did. He had some lines in there where there was a. I keep teasing it, and I keep waiting for Hefty to put it out. There was a. Uh, Lawn sprinkler strip tease, I guess. If you <laughs> <laughs> kind of a wow. fantasy of the housewife, and uh, I had fun with my segment. And when I was done, the entire crew and the, and the client and the you know the production company, they all were like, "I think you've done that before." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, I just it's spontaneously." <laughs> it's just natural. So all that, <laughs> all that <laughs> dancing. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. But that's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've actually I wake up every morning and Hefty Brand, the company, has tweets with me. You know, and they're like, somebody sure. be like, hey, who's that guy? And then Hefty be like, oh, you got to find him. It's Rebillis. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm just, it's been such a, a blast. I would never would have thought that, that taking out the trash would be something <laughs> that would get me some notoriety. You're, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You have a, you're, there's, when you're first introduced and you and you pull yeah. that, that's why she said, do I have any trash to take out? <laughs> there's something about the, it's your arms. And we were talking about arms before, during the yeah. first segment. Uh, yeah, you're, it's your arms and the way you're pulling out and the trash. And it's funny that he didn't even recognize that it's his arms until I said that. I was like, oh, that's your worst oh, and that's your arms. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the trash bag when the, the hands yeah, are running yeah, around yeah, inside yeah. the trash bag. Yeah. Do you, now has it, uh, do you, do you like being, or how do you feel, I'm going to say this, how do you feel about being objectified in that way? I've made a living about being objectified. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, that's I what, literally, but I, but that's I'm what I've But I'm curious because I, I think that always becomes sort of a big thing and I never really got to ask anybody who's pretty and who's pushing themselves out as just being pretty, but uh, and you are objectified I, in, in I doing mean, that way. Is, but, but this you, is the career that's, that I've chosen and it's chosen me and I, I, I embrace it. I mean, it's the fun part about that spot is that we're in on the joke, yeah. you know, which was really, which is what's fun. I think it's what's fun for people to watch. And, you know, yeah, I'm looking it's at the It's safe and charming, yeah. You're hefty. Back yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, but it's over the top. But that's, that's the fun part, you know. It's when you're being poked fun at and you're not really privy to the joke. But I, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And it's been, you know, that, that's kind of the, exactly why, why I do this, to have fun like that. Did you start out as a model? I was in college and I was about 40 pounds heavier playing football. And then I woke up one day and decided, I think I'm not really cut out for this. And I lost weight and I got into modeling. And I ended up moving to Paris straight out of college and wow. lived there for two years. And then I uh, came back, I don't know, did an acting class in New York and ended up coming out to Los Angeles um, in 96 and got on a soap opera. And so I've been working on camera pretty much, uh, God, I mean, like 20 some years, you know, as a model and as an actor um, and got into the behind the camera producing we have a couple of films coming out there's actually a film coming out this month um haunting of the innocent uh, i think it comes out in redbox on january 28th it's a psychological thriller i play the lead i was a producer in it uh my son uh was my played my son in it kind of typecast wow. him mm -hmm. and then there's another film that i'm really proud of it's called birthday cake it's a sequel to oh, I know Groom's this one. cake chad darnell was the writer producer director and my co-star and it's about a yeah. gay couple that adopts a baby and yeah the one Groom's of our cake. was somebody we, yeah is it Harvey Gian? Who's somebody on our show? Somebody's been. I'll look it up while you keep talking about it. Some we've had Groom's somebody here talking about did amazing and played cake. at all the festivals. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Chad was like, "Let's do a sequel." And he 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 did it all. He wore every hat there is, and it's going to be coming out through Aristocal, uh, who distributes all the eating out films. And so oh, Aristocal is okay. taking that out for us. So I have been very fortunate to wear many many hats in my my Hollywood tenure. Now, I have a new one. I don't and think I'm... It's dancing. not hats. I think they're shoes now. Now I'm wearing <laughs> different shoes, so I have dance shoes on They're now, shiny. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, oh, I have a lot of friends in this movie. Birthday Cake is... Yeah, it's kind of an ensemble cast. Uh, Ronnie Kroll, who's been on the show. He's, oh, he's, Jennifer Jimenez. Jennifer, Jennifer Jimenez yes. is the yes. one who was in here talking her. about she it. She plays my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> my beard, as it were. Well, she, and she's coming on in just a, in a couple weeks. Uh, yep. But, uh, yeah, and uh, Ryan O'Connor, Graham Labass, uh, Nick, Nina Milan, um, Peter Page is in it. Jane Badler is in it. I know, I know. Jane Badler's coming on the show. She's like one of my dream. Like, she kills it in, uh, in Birthday Cake. It's incredible. I am so excited about me. I've never met her, but we've been tweeting. Uh, and she has a new album coming out. And most people, don't, she even, most people don't even know who Jane Badler is. But Jane Badler is from one of my all-time favorite shows, V. When I was a, You're going to love the I movie was, then. 
Oh, I'm so yeah. Uh, yeah well, that I ju- I, that's why I just saw that. Yeah. So uh, she sings in our show in our movie too. Does she really? This really amazingly over the top crazy song. I'll, you'll I won't <laughs> spoil it, but well, I'm excited. So when that that's coming out when? Um, that should be out in the next few months. Aristocal is gonna is gonna um, distribute it, and it is certainly will tweet it and post it and everything. But it'll be out and be out of video on demand. Um, been playing at all the festivals. I think. I don't know how many we've won so far. It's just it's an incredible story. It's a great movie. It was amazing because when we started it, uh, you know, there was uh, you know, it was Prop 8. You couldn't get, you know, gay couples couldn't get married. And yeah. then all of a sudden, Dome. I don't know if our movie contributed to that. We'd like <laughs> to think so. But uh, it's, a great, it's a great film. And it's unbelievably funny. <laughs> how, how fun. Who's Haviland Stillwell? You don't She's know Haviland Stillwell? No, but I do now. Yeah, well, you have to watch. She's My incredible. My goodness, and a lot of the people are um, good friends of Chad's, and uh, he just sort of called in all his favors and friends and everything. So that's great. Now, do you? So, was it is it hard to make a transition from uh, model to actor? I the skill set that you develop, and the people are like, "Are we going to make really rip?" But no, the skill set you develop as a model does not can immediately translate into acting because as a model, you're trained to sit there and be still. As an actor, you need to be fluid and moving, and so it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't hard. But I find myself watching you know really really pretty people on screen. I'm like, oh god, so beautiful model. But, <laughs> but it just doesn't you know. There's something about being an actor that you that you, you have to be a little bit more real. Um, but you have to you be know, more connected to your emotions and your feelings, yeah, essentially, and, you're not, and not posing. I mean, yeah. as a model, you literally I've spent 22 years posing. It's hilarious. My wife teases me. <laughs> what do you say? I do. Look, well, you're making a model face. Every time yeah. we take pictures and it's not a red carpet, it's just a picture. Yeah, a family photo. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm not making... She goes, like, look at this right here. I'm like, yeah. okay, I guess. So <laughs> you both make a living on poses. Because <laughs> dancing is all about the pose and the form and the... Yeah, the grace. Maybe. This one, <laughs> this one is the funnest, goofiest, most relaxed person in the world. But the minute you put her on the dance floor in a, in a when she has to perform, she the becomes, same things happen. Like Brendan she saying, yeah, blows up and she gets these faces. <laughs> 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 you can see them in like in their videos and if you YouTube her and stuff, and it's incredible because if you take her at home and put her in a pair of flannel pajamas, she jumps around <laughs> like a crazy person. Yeah. We, all are, we all we all perform a little bit. Well, well, sure. So, speaking of performing, when did how old were you when you started doing ballroom dance? Seven. Seven uh, years I went to old. First grade and start dancing. And yeah. at what and at what point did you start dance uh, competing? Uh, right away. <laughs> right, right. So you went straight into. Was it now? Was it because something? It was actually c- quite a story. I say, being at the right place at the right time. Uh, I went obviously for fun, and um, there was a partner who was Moscow champion at that time in that age category he lost his partner and I don't remember if she that really outgrew him mm-hmm. or she quit and they couldn't find a girl for him because he was not a tall guy at mm. the age of eight and they said okay oh, we only have one possibility let's go to a beginner classes and see if we can find a little talented girl and mm-hmm. we'll just train her really fast <laughs> and that little talented girl happened to be me and after literally maybe only a couple of weeks dancing and being a butterfly and a flower and doing a chicken dance <laughs> so I, I got chosen and said okay so we are competing a Moscow championship in December and I started in September wow. and they said okay you need to learn eight dances you have to have two costumes you got to buy shoes and you got to now start taking pride lessons and and uh, my mom said, go. <laughs> <laughs> and in December, I danced my first competition, which was the Moscow Championship. And out of 180 couples, we were second. Oh, wow. my God. And that's what I'm saying. I kind of got that fast ride into it because my partner was already experienced. And, yeah. But, you know, I must have done something right to get that second place. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you, you that's a, it's a, it's a duo. Yeah. You, had to, you had to both contribute yeah. to get to there. But so that goes back to my original question of, like, sounds to me like you had the dance already in you you sort of had that talent i believe i was born to do it there's this great book by uh malcolm gladwell yeah yes. it call, talks about the outliers and to sum it up i pretty much say being at the right place at the right time recognize the opportunity take it and then put ten thousand hours into it uh-huh. and you cannot fail yeah you will be successful. we talk about the ten thousand hours here all yeah. the time yeah. in fact i was just thinking about this morning because some Thursday, two days from today, is the um, our 200th show 
just here on UBN alone. So then I was like, okay, that's 400 hours because I'm always trying to add up. Bad. It's too bad you can't be a world champion in beer drinking and bourbon yeah. and solving the world problem. Because sure I, I have at can. least 10,000 hours in it. 10,000 liters. I, yeah, I definitely. Where's my award? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in that 10,000 yeah. hours. That's, that's one of my favorite analogies that, yeah, the 10,000 hours in anything yeah. can make you a such I think that's expert. what she was referring to earlier, that and you can teach you can teach anyone how to dance if you put them out uh, the uh, right amount of time into it. I mean, you can learn the techniques. So I love to see these, you know, these Russians who are dancing international Latin, which Latin you think it should be, you know, I have this vision of, you know, Spanish and passion. And then here's these Russians who are as white as they can get, and they are doing it better than anyone. Mm -hmm. And it's because they put all that time and effort and technique and dedication into it. And yeah, it's really amazing and so how did you so you just kept dancing and at what point did you move over to america and get involved with dancing with the stars um well i keep dancing yeah my whole mm. entire career and uh i moved it here at 21 and uh dancing with the stars is actually quite again being at the right place at the <laughs> right time uh at that point max and i would dance together and we were one of the top couples that represented the united states in the world championships and uh, when Dancing with the Stars moved here, because they originally it's from England, they pretty much did their research and contacted all top couples in the United States. Did you dance wow. on the British version, or just? I or didn't. Just, okay. No. And at that point, we actually said, "Dancing with the Stars? What's that?" No, <laughs> no, no. We're still competing. We're going to dance Blackpool and things like that. And they did that first season. And then after that, it kind of came natural, and you're like, "Okay, so this is the face of ballroom dancing right now. So why not be on the show?" And then. We literally called back and said, "Okay, we're interested. Let's do this." And that's it. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and then the re and the rest was history. And the rest was history. Uh, and what has been your experience with Dancing with the Stars? Have you have you enjoyed it? And have you had a favorite dance partner? Oh, I kind of <laughs> that didn't happen at the right time, the right place, right? Uh, I had Tucker Carlson, who was extremely goofy. <laughs> <laughs> he had not put ten thousand hours in. Uh -huh. He's a great guy, no. but you know, it just. And I got voted off at, out of the first week. And then I got uh, Clyde the Glide, who was a great guy. I mean, but he was like... Which one was Clyde? Is he a football player? Basketball. He's a basketball, basketball player. player. And Portland, I'm like... Portland no. Trailblazers and then Houston Rockets. I'm only 5'4", and they gave me a guy who's like 6'5", <laughs> or whatever. No, he's like 7'. Like, yeah. Anyway, it, yeah. My experience, I just... I guess I didn't get to the point where I got a partner with who I can go yeah. through the whole entire show. So I didn't get to experience that. And then, uh, I guess, in my career, I just moved into a different direction after that. But it, it was fun meeting all those people, for sure. Get to know them. And the uh, amount of work that you put into it is Yeah, people don't incredible. tell people that really quickly because I yeah. think, you know, they watch the video package. But, the, you know, in the video package, which goes up right before you dance yeah. on the show... It, it shows a couple of the dramatic moments from the week, but they don't. You don't. They don't realize that you're sometimes. I know they had to change the rules because people kept getting hurt. But at the time, you were dancing like seven, eight hours a day. Oh yeah, at it's, least right. Yeah, it's celebrities that are willing to put their time into it, dance that much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for that one dance that's going to happen, and they do it every day, mm -hmm. and then some of them go practice right after the live show is over because they feel that they don't have enough hours. Mm. It's it's yeah. But they had to put an end to that. I heard like two seasons ago or something. They ha they changed that. That like they, they it was like you were only allowed to rehearse like four hours a day or something like that. I mean, people. I yeah, know. You can't <laughs> stop people I mean, from. Come on. Well, it's. I mean, it's a. It, it can be a career boost for for I some people. Sure. I think know. it's a limit because like you can't overwork yourself. You cannot. You know. But people, if they want to practice, they'll go and practice. There's tons of studios that they can go and rent, pay a floor fee. You can come to L.A. Ballroom Studio <laughs> on Tour <Ventura> Boulevard. <laughs> Any of you celebrities out there listening. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and we'll do secret training. And get, to, and get to do it in private. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The 2 2, two deal, yeah. two private sessions. Yeah. Yeah. With, 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 without the cameras. Um, well, uh, I, uh, you guys are you guys are really just lovely, and uh, and Thank it's you. it's nice to be able to ogle you both. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for for uh, for all of your loveliness. Remind everybody one more time all about uh, LA Ballroom and how they can come and visit you guys. You can and find take us classes. on the web at laballroomstudio.com. dot com. Um, you can call us. What is it? Uh, eight one eight five zero one seven four nine eight. Uh, you can drop by. We're over on Ventura Boulevard. We are open seven days a week right now, um, noon until about 10 o'clock. And uh, we have uh, Zumba classes on the weekends. But come on out. Seriously, if you've ever had any desire 
to shake your butt and wiggle and have fun uh, and dance, just come on out because it's definitely uh, it's for all levels. Now, the ladies want to know, are you teaching any classes there? I don't teach yet. Are you, but are you, just, talk, are you, the, are you I, the receptionist? <laughs> no, I get into. I get into. I'm practicing. I go in the group classes. Last night I took dances, intermediate yeah. ta- uh, intermediate salsa. So I am dancing every single day uh, with our core, our group of core uh, people that come in for our group classes. So I, there's talk of me learning to, to, to teach. I'm and, a few years away from. And that. who are some of the instructors you have there? Oh, we have uh, about Miranda. Uh, seven instructors right now so we have uh, couples that compete mm-hmm. and we have uh, people that teach social dancing so there we have different types of teachers and actually competing in the different categories as well so it makes it fun so uh, well, as far as the names I mean I don't know if people will know no, names, not. Yeah. they gotta come in <laughs> and they gotta meet them they're lots of fun and they're very lovely <laughs> yeah. well and you never know we're, we're already in negotiations I might be bringing Bob aerobics there so oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and commit on air uh, if I'm in town uh, February 6th I'm gonna go be social social yeah. yes. to the dance yes. social Huge. and I'm the Huge. last person you want to see dancing so that's a big <laughs> commitment for me to go to a dance well, we need, event. We need more men. So come I'll join. Will, I will join you. Yeah, please do come out. So if so if he and is it a good place? Like this might be. Let's a totally different plug. Brendan's newly single. Is it yeah. a good place for him to come oh, meet ooh. some nice single women? There are plenty of women, single women. We uh, we have women of all ages, um, for sure. But we just this we could be a great thing. I was just thinking I'm not about it. Go hit on all the no, women. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not about hitting on I have class. Hang on, it's not about hitting on women. I don't think that you would. <laughs> but I do. I was just listening to somebody talk the other day about this very thing. That uh, why would you go to a bar if you want if if you're not somebody who right. drinks a lot and you're trying to meet somebody. Why would you go to a bar because that's, you have nothing in common, but you should be going to places where you want to meet sort of like-minded well, people? Well, right, and, and that's why actually when the, the dance social attracted me because I was like, all right, these are people that are clearly into athleticism, even though dance isn't my Athletics, thing. Athletics, thinking outside but, the box, but maybe exactly, a little more creative. But I like to be physically active, so they're they're physical, but they're also artistic, So and I'm artistic, so it's like it's a good match, Ooh, and it's social. Yeah. and they, Perfect. They're you're, just, you're, like, you're pretty much just describing saying. exactly the way it is. So, yeah, it yeah, sounds fantastic. It is a fun place to come and, and move around and meet people and it's non you know it's not creepy or threatening and it's just it's social it's fun exactly and organic that's i mean that's really what i was getting yeah. at was it? i wasn't saying you were gonna go that's all right be creepy <laughs> <laughs> I, think <laughs> it's, I think it's kind of even easier to meet at places like this because at the bar sometimes when people come up to you you don't yeah. Really necessary. Want to talk? But to you're uh, you're actually expected to go up and say, "Would you like to dance?" Yeah, yeah. I, need a, I, need, yeah. Yes. I need a dance yeah. partner. Uh-huh. I need a dance partner. I notice you're standing right here, and I'm, we're I at a dance get studio. Dance social. <laughs> want to dance? Yes. Now, yeah. can I ask you guys? Do you guys do swing dancing yeah, classes? We do. Yeah, we did Ooh. West Coast Swing last night. Yeah. Uh, okay, there was two classes of that. We have that as a group class. We plus, we do all privates in it. How about the hustle? Is there any disco we classes? We have hustle too. Wow. That to see now that I would I want to come do the hustle. Uh huh. Yeah. Go on the website. Uh, LABombStudio.com and check it out. We are constantly updating, adding classes. We're adding some new account. beginner, some new beginner classes. We have a, a great group of like intermediate uh, and advanced classes, but we're getting some new beginner classes to get some new people in. And come, come take advantage of our owner's special, the two 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 for two twenty two. Nice. Fantastic! I'm. I can't wait to come check it out. Thank you guys so much Thank for coming in this morning. Us. This is so nice. Can I do your aerobics class? Uh, please. <laughs> yeah, you do Bob aerobics and he'll do the hustle. Perfect. Please. This one, especially if I come take it to your studio, I'll expect you there. Uh, you guys, uh, don't go anywhere. Uh, the, we got a little bit more left for this morning. but uh, And don't forget to check out L.A. Ballroom and follow them on Twitter at L.A. Ballroom. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back.